this money to pay for those bills. Um, a bank is, the, is, a, is, is one of those places. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, banks are not um, in the business of loaning people that are not working money. <laughs> they don't, they're, not, they're not a big fan of that. Credit cards is by far the most common. People just start swiping that thing away. And, um, and that, has, that in itself has its own uh, repercussions, interest rates, and you have to yeah. pay that money back, obviously. And then you also have family and friends. Maybe you have some family and friends that are willing to lend uh, a helping hand and, and help you financially. But, you know, for most families, you know, there's still not, there's not a lot there. You know, most, right. you know, maybe your mom and your dad or, you know, some family members can help out. But that is, that's a very limited um, <coughs> place, you know, resource uh, for most people. And then you as the employer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if, uh, if it's happened to you that you maybe have, 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 have had an employee that worked here for an extended period of time and they come to you and say, hey, listen, I got hurt or my daughter's sick. I'm going to take some time off. Hey, by the way, can I get an advance on my paycheck? I don't know if that's happened to me, to, to you, but the problem is, is that um, yeah, you may have an employee that you know forever that they, they started with you right when you started this company. But the problem is, is if you do that for that employee, you, you have to all. do it for all of them. Yeah. Okay. And that, mm -hmm. and, that, and that presents a challenge because you're not a lending institution right. okay? and that just creates problem when you start um, you know, lending money. And that's that. kind of where AFLAC comes in handy mm -hmm. because that's what we do. We're the ones that provide with that safety net and, and give those employees cash in the event something like that does happen. So a little piece of t statistical data that's out there that 60% uh, of bankruptcies in America are filed because of medical bills. Wow. Okay, that is a fact. Mm -hmm. Every single year that happens. Um, and also the shocking thing to me is that about 75% of those individuals or those families filing, filing from bankruptcy, they had health insurance in place. Wow. Okay. So unfortunately, a lot of people are walking today thinking, I got great health insurance. Okay. And, uh, but they don't realize until it's too late how far yeah. from the truth that statement is. Wow. Okay. Um, the last piece here wow. is that 45% of employees out there on the market have less than $1,000 in savings to deal with a, um, with a medical emergency. And I don't know about you, but a thousand dollars, I don't think even gets you a root canal nowadays. Yeah. Um, so it's not a whole lot of money that most employees out there have yeah. to be able to deal with those um, medical emergencies. So what AFLAC does is it will help protect your stuff. It puts a shield, uh, puts a, a, a barrier, if you may, around your stuff. It's asset protection. Uh, it's income protection, as I say. It is also, it helps you with your medical expenses mm -hmm. as well as your expenses of daily living and that's basically what we, we do so when we with AFLAC provide you with this cash benefit you literally can do whatever you see fit with that money you can use it to pay your mortgage mm -hmm. you can use it to pay your car payment food utilities and that sort of stuff and that's kind of where AFLAC comes in now in the uh, menu of benefits so I have given you guys or here it's actually you can pass one out. There's one for everybody here. And the menu of benefits, so what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna kinda refer to this piece right here. You can, um, this has form numbers that you can download onto the AFLAC, uh, that you can order from AFLAC at no cost to you. It has form numbers in the bottom. So I'm gonna look at this little insert that I put on there. It's called a product overview. So what we do at AFLAC is we provide you with a menu of benefits, okay, that, that can become available to your employees. Now the first one, it's one of those that um, that you mentioned uh, as far as your employees starting a family. We offer a short-term disability that if you do have a female employee that works with you that wants to start a family, it can really help them financially with some cash for that. Also, if they get sick, hurt outside of the workplace or get sick, it gives them some cash. We also offer life insurance as well as a hospital plan that pays an individual cash for every day in the hospital, dental vision, um, accident plan, cancer plans, and critical illness plans. So, Accident, is a, we have a plan as an example that pays you 24 hours a day if you get hurt. A cancer, obviously everybody in this room, I think we can all agree that we met somebody that's been diagnosed, treated, or passed away from cancer. It's just a reality, it's just part of life. Um, AFLAC has one of the best, you know, well, I think across the board, they're all you know, better than everything out there. But cancer is one of those plans that we, um, we stand above, above the rest for sure. Yeah. Um, as well as a plan called critical illness that pays for heart attacks and things of that nature. So the neat thing about this menu of benefit is that when we make them available to the employees, they can pick and choose as to what whatever what they, they want, what they need out of that. Yeah. Now all of our plans are very, very affordable. We're talking about between, you know, five to seven dollars a week for an individual to as much as you know ten to fourteen dollars um, a week to cover an entire family. So we're not talking about hundreds of dollars a month to be able to own one of these AFY plans. So as you as you can see there, that's the average cost of one of our plans. This just kind of goes through. Um, 
a claim, for example, as an example, let's say that somebody has an accident plan. And this is based on our old accident plan, so these benefits have actually gone up quite a bit since then. So let's just say that you have an employee um, whose child breaks their, um, their, their leg at school. So just for, for that employee, to, obviously they're gonna have to clock out of work. They have to take off the time out of work. Yeah. So just for them to take them into the doctor, we pay them $120. For the, um, for the actual broken leg itself, AFLA will pay them $625, as well as uh, $125 for the crutches. If they need an MRI, it's 200 bucks. Then they also have six follow-up visits at $210. Uh, I mean, six uh, uh, physical therapy visit at um, $210 for all six of them, as well as three follow-up visits at $105. So this individual will receive from AFLAC $1,385. So this family. So if that employee obviously has some out-of-pockets on their medical, or they want to pay themselves because they have to take a couple days off work to take care of that child, then they're not skipping a beat as far as missing a paycheck and missing that income because they have to clock out and take care of this. And that's really where the AFLAC plans um, become valuable. So this kind of talks about a little bit about all the different plans. So this is the promises that we make to you. I'll make to you. So the first thing we do is we set up a payroll deduction for you guys. Um, we help um, educate your employees. So we take care of everything from A to C. We help educate your employees um, in their benefit options, meaning that we, we typically come in and, and, and show them how these plans will work. Uh, we conduct an enrollment as well as we help your employees with any types of claims or things of that nature. So now let me ask you something. So if I, um, if I, um, if I show this to your employees mm -hmm. and they're willing to pay for it 100% of their own pocket, do you have the ability to payroll deduct it for them? Yes. Okay. So there's one of there's one of two ways that we typically educate your employees, and that's really the first piece. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we can either do a group session, a group meeting with those employees. So if you have a staff meeting or a safety meeting or something like that, mm -hmm. or we can, uh, if that's not possible, we can come in and um, and visit with your employees individually one at a time so we can get them educated on how these plans work it's, it's more of a consultative type of yeah. approach now in the past although i've had employers that they they mean well and they say well let me just ask them to see if they want it no and the I, fact of the matter yeah. that that doesn't work because yeah. You know, prior to me coming here, most people know about right. AFLAC very, very little. I mean, they assume that we're a health insurance company or we, we, or we are a car insurance company. Right. So, and so although that has happened in the past, you know, the, the easiest way to, for us to educate, to see if the employees are interested is to come in yeah. and, and, and do that little presentation. So which of those two methods will work better for you? For me to come in and do a group meeting or meet group with... Meeting. Group meeting. Because you can come in when we have our, uh, you know, uh, little employee meeting. Okay, so and when, when, when do you have the next meeting? We have those at 9 o'clock on Monday morning. Okay, so would it be better for me to come in next Monday or the Monday after that? Next Monday. Okay, That's good. so I can come in uh, Monday, and if you don't mind, um, I like to take the last 15 minutes. So what I'm going to do is like that's that's just a day that we're just gonna, that for us for you and I mm -hmm. we're just going to measure and gauge interest level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give that quick presentation. I'm going to give them all you know a packet information. of information with prices and things of that nature, mm -hmm. and then at the end I'm going to collect a little interest sheet. And that interest sheet just basically just asks for their name and then a check mark on a box that says yes I'm interested or no I'm not interested. And for those folks that are interested, then um, we, you and I will sit down and see if we're going to move forward from there. And then if we get enough people interested, then um, I'll just follow up with those folks typically within 24 or 48 hours and, and, and speak with them individually and get them set up in whichever plan um, oh, okay. suits them and their family. Okay. okay? So would that would that uh, next Monday be okay at nine o'clock? Yep. Okay. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you a. Um, a, uh, an enrollment flyer, okay, that we can put around the walls here, mm -hmm. okay, that it just lets the employee know a little bit about AFLAC, has the date and time of when I'm going to be here. Okay. So I will um, I will come by and drop those off to you if you want to hand them to them. That way they, um, all the employees are fully right. aware they'll, that they'll I'm going to be here next Monday. So instead of you telling them verbally, they can just read it on the, on the employee board back there. Okay. So, okay, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. I will see you next Monday. Thank you. Um, have a blessed day. And, uh,